Hello everybody, and today we're gonna check out the next, the next, well not, not the, one you have the next up, the latest update of Jurassic World Live. Update 2.9, the Tiny Flyers update. Blah, 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 okay. Ooh, the Tiny Flyers. Tiny Flyers creatures from the dawn of time have entered Jurassic World Live. Watch out for flocks of, of, Koa Loa so, you know what, I'm just going to call it Loro. We have Opteropterex, maybe. I'm just going to call that Ark, and then Cole has. Ooh, Kovliosaurus. This prehistoric flying. I didn't even know what this is, but I don't regret it being added to the game. The picture card looks so cool. I forgot there was like prehistoric lizards from ancient times that could glide. And look at their little frills. It's adorable. This prehistoric lizard is actually more of a glider. The fin bones growing from its side of Clovisosaurus. So, Laura's body support wing like members allow this tiny creature to ride in air. And leaping between trees. Clovisosaurus is a hit run and cunning runner. No, cunning hit runner. His Clovisosaurus will absorb and dodge to outlast opponents. So he'll absorb, alert roost, which is an on, which is a on escape. Um, it just, just kind of just looks. Uh, it kind of just seems like obstruction of flight, but there's no no escape. I think that no, I think it has no escape. Oh, it's worse in the fight. It has no escape. I'm not sure. Then I have alert flock, then destruction, and impact on run. So this seems like compies. Yeah, this seems like compies, but a bit more diverse. No priority or anything like that. But finally, our first common flock. Nice. I can't wait to add for them to add a herbivores as flocks. We got, we got Archeo, Archeo Proteric, Archeo Terex. Once thought to be the earliest bird that ever led. Okay, can I just say it right now for Ludia? Before I continue, these car, these pictures, whoever is the artist, thank you for making these pictures. They look really beautiful. They truly do. Okay, continue. Once fought the earliest bird that ever lived, Archeotop. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say the name. Name means ancient wing. Tiny, though tiny, this bird plays a giant role in his. You know what? I don't know. He was helping to prove the evolution theory only two years after Darwin on the f origin of species first published. Arc is a cunning destruction dodger. Hughes arcs of absorb and dodge to outlast high damage opponents. Arc's cleansing abilities also allow you to remove negative status. Absorb on alert escape evasion. Ooh, that's gonna I always wanted a ability where it would feel I'm guessing that I'm guessing that's a rally heal and not a regular heal. Yeah that's definitely a rally heal. Yeah this is a rare so we got alert Buff and Shrek. Nice, it cleanses. Ooh, Delayed Cunning Rampage. That's a cool move. And we got Evasive Impact. But yeah, this is a pretty good creature. And I'm guessing, and the fact that it has, it gains a new, no, I'm not, of course, but most likely, yeah, it's most likely going to be Rally Heal. Meaning on Escape, it's going to gain Dodge in. Ooh, that's going to make it, that's going to make it really good of a creature. Megalonyx. They said like I think like for the for its hybrid, I think they said Yeah, they said like you got a hybrid or something. But they said it's like only four creatures, maybe I'm wrong. Megalonyx. This giant's loft only went extinct about eleven thousand years ago. Early humans may have had something to do with it. It cut it since cut marked bones of Megalonyx and a higher indicated by 
Ohio and play all Americans. Never thought I would say that in my life. Mega Lunx is a cunning damage reducer. She uses Mega Lunx kind of abilities. Yeah, I think this is just. It's, yeah, this is just, it seems like it's a lot of. We got Maxwell Counter, King Shrek, Camouflage, Cautious Rampage. Oh god. I'm scared. Well, sorry for the interruption. So I had to pause. I had to pause. Most people know that I don't have like a recording studio to do record my videos in a quiet space. Anyway, this is kind of busted. It has maximum. We don't even know the damn. We don't know the stats. I'm hoping that it only like, has one thousand base attack. Anything else? Maybe like one or five or one. 100 might seem a bit balanced, but anything else might seem a bit broken. Because everyone knows Cautious Shrek. And it says it's like a sense stuff, is most likely also gonna be in speed decrease, but it's still gonna be like really slow. Yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna seem like a, this is gonna be a very good creature. Oh, we have Cool Hass. Oh, I don't even know what the design looks like. It just kinda, it kinda looks like drones. It sounds like like an artifact you would see from like uh, you know I I was thinking of some of Native Native Americans. That's what I was gonna say. But like an ancient thing they made to celebrate. Like a you know what? Never mind. Anyways, Kohas ingredients: Kohosaurus, yeah, Laura, Castigo, unlike its parents, Kohosaurus. The Cole has not able to glide its wing. It's also able to activate them to activate true flight. It inherits this trait from its powerful house depot. It's a wild card. I already knew that. Okay. Uh, okay, as dodge, absorb, distraction, and impact on the run. Absorb, alert, roost. Armor piercing, sh precise piercing strike. Fearless alert. Fearless alert just probably just fearless alert is probably just gonna be fearless flap with rally heal. Precise impact and run. Restricted group restriction. Ooh, it's a flock. It has a it's like a flock it's an anti flock counter. it's a flock flock counter. Pretty cool. Yeah, I can definitely see this thing destroying other flocks. Not only does it have heal, it has dodge distraction. Ooh, yeah, this is gonna be a good creature. We don't know the stats, but I think this might be really good. Well, anyways. Let's get into the new abilities. So we got Cautious Rampage. Don't need to go too much in depth into that. Cleansing the Celebrating Impact. Just the Celebrating Impact with Cleanse. Delayed Cutting Rampage, just Rampage with Delay. Just claim a picture of delay. Evasive wing strike. It does zero two point bleed for two turns, and then to fifty percent dodge. Possess impact around. Instant group distracting impact. Revenge definite rampage. Alert buff and strike. So it seems here that cleanses. Oh wait, so constant speed decrease and critical hit decrease. So I'm guessing the cre I'm get oh I think yeah Arc had this, so I'm guessing Arc won't have speed resist any speed resistance. Maybe it might have speed resistance, but it's definitely not gonna have one hundred percent speed resistance if it's able to cleanse speed decrease. And a crit chance decrease. So no so I'm expecting no crit, no speed, to sell immunity, or an action no resist. I I can speak. Basically, one. Let me just rephrase everything. Basically, it's not gonna have any resist or immunity to speed decrease or critical chance to dec decrease. Okay, increases critical hit chance for twenty five. For less than three turns, and just that, but 35 instead. 
Okay, nothing much. Alert boost. 75% chance to dodge for two, 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 two turns, two attacks. Increase critical chance to 400. Ooh. Ooh, that, that's actually, oh, that's, this is actually really good. But wait, alert roost. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, this is actually, this is all, if we go back, let me, let's, if we go back, we clearly see that Colvisaurus has alert roost. Do you know what this means? This means definite strike on irritated gentoo is actually useful. Yeah, boy. <sighs> but yeah, anyways. And then, also, but yeah, basic but one friend, if it has a 100% chance to dodge, but you only get 50% crit. So it's like, to be honest, both, none of those don't seem bad. I mean, 100% if you're a friend, if the, if the opponent has a swap in, it's not if it does. It's pretty much you're pretty much gonna be fine. It just costs you like crit, crit chance, but crits don't even do that much damage. I think the fret if imp, I think yeah, the fret fate is way better because you have 100% dodge. 100% crit chance isn't bad. I'm just saying that having being able to block your damage or just increasing them by like 0.25% isn't really that. It's just much more bad for you to have dodge. Now, on alert on escape and evasion. When opponent swaps, 100% chance to dodge. When opponent swaps, ooh, yeah, I knew it. I knew it. This is actually going to be really good. Now you can just base, basically, you can now just swap in. So, not only do you have guaranteed dodge on a friend state, you also on your, no, you have, okay, wait, you actually have, oh, you still have guaranteed dodge? I didn't see that. You actually have guaranteed dodge no matter what. That's, that's pretty pog. Fearless alert. If I, yeah, I guessed it. 10%, I think, I think fearless left, that was like, I thought like fearless left was like 50 or something, but I guess it makes sense that's only 10% considering that creature's going to be faster or something. Say five percent yards. One threaten. Rally heals is just the exact same thing. One hundred percent yards instead of seventy-five. Oh. It, oh, it doesn't distract. Oh. That's that's actually. Oh yeah, I targets all opponents, but it doesn't distract. When it's in threaten. I guess that I guess that's fine. But. Does that does that not technically make secure better? Because it doesn't have distraction. Well, well, that's it. Well, that's all the new moves. Personally, I think my favorites would have to have to be alert on the skip evasion and alert roost. Cause not because they're like real, because they're just really good. Or f they're just really good moves, really good abilities. So on to raid bosses. The giant sloth then long for entry rates on August 5th. Nice. Now we don't have to go hunt. Don't have to go hunting it. If, actually, I have like a, my opinion. I think there should be more raid exclusive creatures besides the apexes. Because that not only, I mean, it's still going to be relatively easy to get them as long as you have, as long as you're able to have access to that raid and have enough, and you're able to do that raid, it should be easy. And maybe they don't have to be the hardest thing, but I think they should be make more raid exclusive creatures besides apexes. New achievements, just one. No harm, no foul. Place a creature in the sanctuary thirteen times. Dodo. What's improved? AR improvement. Don't care. I don't have AR. Oh, okay. Just brightness and smart placement. That that actually seems pretty cool. That could be, that could be pretty cool, for like screenshots, May, maybe. But I don't have AR on my phone, so those people who do have AR, that's a pretty good up. That's pretty good, I guess. New and returning player experience improvements, 
new players have a slightly longer tutorial to when they help. People actually were still struggling with understanding the game with the tutorial and all that stuff. Weird. I don't think that's a pr I don't think that's a problem. Mm. Returning players will now receive news in their new center, recapping features they have missed and offering advice on what to do next on the game. Other small adjustments have been made to return improve the experience for returning players. Not much. Ooh. Oh, every this is what everyone's been waiting for. The resilient change, the most broken move in the game, is finally being changed. So resilient trick now does vulnerability. Instead of speed decrease. Ma balance. I'm guessing since now they changed it, I don't really need to read all that. But now since they now balanced resilience, that also that means less creatures are gonna have vulnerability resist, so it's actually use so it's actually usable. And that also means that creatures that still have that regularly have vulnerability but won't get changed are gonna become extra stronger. Wait. I'm not 100. They said they're gonna change 37 creatures. I haven't checked them yet. But wait. What about Intello? They, I'm guessing Intello is Intello Lania is gonna be one of the creatures because they're not, they're not gonna let a creature have vulnerability and damage increase at this exact same time, right? Right? Okay. So all the resilient moves. Oh, but that. The, this may actually, but the counter is actually what kind of worried me a bit, because fit, now f one of my teammates, and Queen Nitro, one of the few creatures in the game that have the counter, might actually become a bit busted, or at least way more stronger. But the resilient move, the swift resilient strike, only literal, literally only one creature has that. Maybe since we're getting creature updates, maybe. More creatures, but let's check this. Okay, so Allosaurus. With ability resistance, went from 100 to 5,000. No, 100 to 50. That prob that's probably going to be much... I mean, it's still going to have fierce impact, but I mean... Hey, at least, I mean, if we're slower, we can do some weird, weird stuff. With ability resistance, went from 0 to 100. So I can't... Vulnerability, immunity, dimorphodon. I look up 50%, 50%, vulnerability resist. 25, 50 for Nundrum and for Taurus. 50 for Circo. 100 went to 50 for Turbo. Resilient Rampage became changed to the Celebrating Rampage. Ooh. What now? Oh. Oh yeah, I also decided that I'm not going to use any of the new creatures. Maybe. I would think I would think about it. Because since resilience is getting changed to vulnerability, that kinda gives me like more options. That basically gives me a whole lot of more options for creatures to use. And Teladon. Vulnerability resistance from one zero to fifty. Oh wait. Wait, 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 wait. This is like Oh wait, this is like alphabetical order. Oh god. That if that that means if this is if this is a, this is alpha ala, wait. Actually no, this is not alphabetical order. Because why is Dodi here? Ooh, I was I was so scared that until that until Lenya was gonna have increase. We're gonna have vulnerability and damage increase. That was scary. Burgosaurus, vulnerability resistance went from 100 to 50. Megosaurus, vulnerability resistance went to 25. Pasaurus, vulnerability resistance went from 0 to 50. To Pachydalicus, went from 25, from 0. Allosaurus Gen 2 went from 100 to 50. And Trutodon went from 25 to 0. Oh, it lost. 
I don't, I don't see what the problem was. Weird. Baryonyx, vulnerability resistance went from 100 to 75. Concavenator. Ooh, again. Critical chance went up to 10. And then it got 25% resilience to vulnerability. And Telechops, vulnerability resistance changed from 0 to 25. And Dominus Rex. 150 Michael Kiris for the 175 Ooh, para oh Parallax para I thought Parallax is one of the worst creatures in the game I mean it's definitely a it's certainly 100% better para than regular Parallax but it's like so tr it's like so terrible but now it has counter power heal Ooh, we got a fifty. It got it got extra fifty attack. Finally, it got a health buff. Thank goodness. I don't have Parallax, but at least when if I get if I do get it, I can actually if I wanted to, I can actually use the MPVP. And then fifty percent. This actually seems really good. Maybe Parallax might be actually be. I think Parallax might actually be usable in PVP. With that big health buff, the damage buff isn't really that. I wouldn't say it's that useful. I mean, I guess it makes it a little bit more attack power. But if you're really going to have health, if you're even running Parallax on your team because of the update, you're most likely just going to put. If you decide to put like any boost, which you're probably not, your opponent's probably going to put on health. But yeah, finally got a buff. Scudo Fison. 175, school, school law 150, Phenomics 150, our card navy nader. Oh, it got revenge definite and rampage, and then it got a tech buff of 50. To be honest, then, oh, well, I mean it has two revenge moves now, but I guess that's better. I guess that's better now because it can go straight for its rampage on revenge instead of. That damage buff. We got Aerodom, fifty one to twenty. F oh, that oh god! You did. I mean, at least Aerodom's. At least Aerodom doesn't have to worry about speed decrease. From like most resilient creatures now, but still, now it's like even more vulnerable. But I, I mean, I guess it. I guess it's balanced now. I guess, Pokedeculus. Destruction you want to destruct the impact. Oh, final the birds are finally getting more no longer will the bird be stuck to strikes. They have grown in power. First Argentavis, now Pokin Dactylus. Who's next? Attack Ach okay, so they got attack buff. one hundred and fifty attack buff. That's nice. Ooh, it got 400 attack buff from 3750 to 4, 450. Its critical chance got one to 10 to 15. It gained 75 swap prevention resist, 50 vulnerable resist, and 50 speed decrease resist. Ooh, that's, I think that's pretty good. I think it might actually, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. It's gonna become, but that actually seems like it become. It actually becomes pretty good of a creature. Oh, wait, Skuna. Wait, did school? Okay, is a school. Wait. Oh God, I'm, I I hate I hate their names so badly. They always confuse me. Why did Ludia have to combine these to make a hybrid? The names always confuse me. Uh, okay, Skulas, Skulk, Skulasaurus. Is the hybrid between Scudosaurus? I okay. I know it's just a purple little grim, grim amphibian gremlin boy with armor. That's I, I'm just gonna want to call it purple gremlin boy. The purple gremlin. I'm just gonna call Scudosaurus the purple gremlin. Then we have Scuna. So now it's got instant group to. Sh okay. So now. Okay, so basically now it just becomes destroyer flaw.
Fox not I guess now Fox don't even stand a chance against Skuna. Yeah, Fox are just gonna get Skuna just became an instantly god known as the destroyer of Fox. On spell enemies went to the delayed rampage and run. It got a type of 100 100 attack buff. Ooh, it got a 30 100 a 30 health buff from one from 390 to two. From 420, 200. It's got an uh, armor nerf to 40, from 50, and then supplementary resistance 41 to 60, with ability resistance 51 to 0. Okay. Spinal Shrikenator. Evasive stance trains to evasive wounding strike. Oh, that is actually really. That that okay. It's much better now. That is way better, but now it has distraction. Like, I mean, I guess it makes sense. Wait, did Evasive Wounding Strike have a cooldown? Let's go check. Okay, it did have a cooldown of two turns. Okay. It got, one, it got, it got attack buff uh, 30 per, from 1000 of 1300. Ooh, a nice attack buff from 360. For twenty, it got one. Okay, it got a speed buff from one hundred and twenty-two to one hundred twenty-six. It got stun resist to seventy-five, and speed to cell one to seventy-five from fifty. Testa, resilient, resilient impact change, the cleansing, decelerating impact. That seems pretty cool. Ooh, got. They got the counter power heal. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I mean, it's still gonna die to pretty much anything that can just shatter. It's still gonna die to Morton, Morton Ruxes, but now. No, so every. So, first of all, so now. It can heal. When it heals, it has Diggin, so it has one heal. It has a counter, so it has a second heal. It has a swap in, so it has a third heal. And then it has. It's on escape, which is a fourth heal. This creature has set the world re re record for the most heals. Only coming, only with Parallax coming in second place. And then I don't know what other creature. But that's a lot. That's a lot of healing. That is a lot. That's a lot of healing. It got attack buff to one. One thousand and one hundred. It got attack. It got HP buff to four thousand two hundred. It got speed buff from one twenty seven to one twenty eight, and then its armor from seven. Oh, Tesla just got big buffed. Cleansing the celebrating impact is totally fine. It still has it still has vulnerability, so yeah, I see this is a total total win. Four, first impact became group shattering, group shattering fear. Yeah, I, everyone saw this coming. Attack, oh wait, got attack buff. Ooh. From 50. It got, oh, it got crit chance nerf. And now it has, a, it also got vulnerability resistance nerf to 50 from 100. It got U turn next. Oh, it got attack buff of 5, a 50. Oh, it got 10% armor. Critical chance went to 25 from 20. And 50. One to seventy for distraction resist reduction resistance. So Magnus vulnerability changed. What? 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 I ex I expected. Morton and then Hydra got one hundred. I oh, I expected like a major nerf, but I guess not. I mean, is it a problem? I don't know how to think about this because I guess you buffed other creatures that are used that are accused in the same arena as the problem creatures. So I guess making them more better makes them making them even strong making them even stronger allows them to deal with other cre deals with the apexes better. But still you only like nerfed the resistances. Not even their stats. 
or moves. This is this is a bit scary. Sarah Magnus is still gonna be a threat. Just because it's one of those it's one of the reasons he becomes zero doesn't mean he's still not gonna be a threat to everything around it. I'm not like I don't really know who how the is gonna turn out after this. Because sure the the resistance is changing. But does that really mean anything now? But oh wow, this is this is actually going to be a weird. The the apex are still gonna be problematic, even if the even if some of the creatures got changes. Dark inventory, ooh, that's that's pretty cool. Darts are given from field data, increase have increased. The option to disable vibration. Oh, thank goodness, I am tired of the vibration. Thank goodness. It's like good for just it's just that right better. Thank you, thank you, Ludia, for giving me the option to disable the vibration. And what's fixed? Lastly, what's fixed? Scorpius's gen in game model has been fixed. Bottom of the page will no longer display a copyright string. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't care. When looking at creature card collection, you may scroll outside of the layout grid again. Okay, I don't know what the layout grid is. I guess that means like there's like extra space on the edge of on the edge of the screen before you can scroll. There's still like a heck Xbox, Apple device, all that stuff expiring. Okay, but yeah, other than that. Nice. Let's see what other people think. Up, oh, everyone. <laughs> I got a buff. Sarah Magnus got a nerf. Uh, I guess. I uh, I mean. Well, I mean, well, since there are more creatures that are gonna have, since a lot of creatures are gonna have vulnerability now, I guess that's a nerf. Maybe I was wrong, but it doesn't seem like the biggest thing. And, uh, maybe that's my opinion. But anyways, thank you. <laughs> Players, we learned to choose from their first lens. Player, <laughs> surprise Pikachu. Oh my god, they actually did it. Lucia actually nerfed the creatures. Oh my god. Anyways. Let's see. Let's just look at that a little bit more. Grief, but why was... Was... Actually, Gas Blasters, you do bring up a very good question. Why did they change it? Was it because so Flocks could absolutely destroy? So was it because of Flocks? Because we, because we are getting. Is it because of Flocks? But I mean, two of the three Flocks we got this update will never probably be used in that in the high arenas. Will never be used in high arenas. So. No, that actually doesn't. So yeah, that doesn't mean up the question. Why did they nerf for? Well, guess some things we never will know. Anyways, thank you for watching my videos. <laughs> Sonic, it's back on. That no, actual, <laughs> yeah, same here, Sonic. I, I guess resilience. I mean, I guess the worst counter. I'm just waiting for someone to just roll up my max of some buffed up Intellinia and absolutely destroy someone with the sh I bet until people are just gonna start using resilient impact spirits and then instead of going, you're just gonna strike a resilient impact, a resilient impact and strike on Intellinia and that's just gonna absolutely destroy something. Yes, <laughs> yes. <sighs> but yeah, I think I think this is a pretty good update. Still, so there are like some complaints, but still. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Bye bye.